So this is going to be giant rant number two. But before I get into it, I want to encourage everybody to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. Now, this one's going to be on Leonard Williams because there's a ton of misconceptions about Leonard Williams in Giants Nation. I am not going to sit there and defend his $16 million price tag. It's undefendable. He does not deserve to make that much. All that being said, though, a lot of people sit there and act like this man needs to be a sack artist. He needs to have close to double-digit sacks to be worth anything. That's because you, my friend, do not understand the 3-4 scheme. And this, the 3-4 scheme is not a mystery to Giants Nations. In the 80s, early 90s, we ran it with Lawrence Taylor and those great, and that great linebacking core. And guys like Leonard Marshall, even though being a very good player in his own right, benefited from that. But Leonard Marshall had 83 career sacks. Over 25 of them came in two seasons, 85-86. Those were considered some of the best Giants teams of all time. So don't sit there and try and compare Leonard Williams to Leonard Marshall. It's not going to happen. But what you should be doing is comparing Leonard Williams to somebody like Hakeem Hicks out of the Bears. 3-4 3-4 defensive end. Or Mike Daniels, former Green Bay Packer, now in the Detroit Lions. 3-4 defensive end, sometimes slides into nose tackle. These are the guys that you should have your eyes on, that you want Leonard Williams to perform like. And some of these guys rarely make it over six sacks. Yet they are invaluable in their job, in their schemes, on their teams. And that's what I'm going to do to you today. So what I'm going to do so you just don't have to hear it from me, is I'm going to take a second here and play Bill Cower, And he's going to explain to you the defensive front in the 3-4 base scheme. So a thousand times, going to ask him to install the 34 front. Let's go, man. You know what I'm going to do, Pat? I'm going to start with the nose because that may be the most important element of this defense. And Joel Steed, Casey Hampton, big guys who can take up blockers. You could offset this guy to get penetration. I'm going to put him on the nose right here, then at two defensive ends. And then you got these two guys, again, underrated, asked to use up blockers, not great pass rushers. And again, you can take these ends and put them on the outside shoulder, inside shoulder, depending upon the defense that is called, move them down over a guard. But I'm going to put them right now in base alignments over the two offensive tackles, defensive ends. Then you have... Now that you saw that, you see what I mean? Leonard Williams is not supposed to be this terrible sack or this great sack artist. If he gets two, three, four, five sacks, great. But for the most part, he's there to occupy space, run through gaps, be disruptive, so he can allow the people behind behind him to flow to the football. Your will linebacker is supposed to be your best pass rusher in a 3-4 base scheme, a la O'Shane Zimenez, Marcus Golden, Lawrence Taylor, not your nose tackle, and your two defensive ends. And that's where Leonard Leonard Williams lines up most of the time. Yes, I understand we're going to be in a multiple front. And maybe sometimes if we're in a 4-3 scheme for whatever reason, maybe Leonard Williams will be asked to rush the passer. Okay. But for the most part, the Giants are going to be in a multiple 3-4 front. Your Will linebacker is the one that needs to get. And if your Will Will linebacker is not getting there actively yet, Leonard Williams is still disrupting the play? I'm sorry. It's up to the guys behind him to make the play. Leonard Williams is not meant to have over double-digit sacks. He's not. Yes, some guys will take this video and say, Oh, look at J.J. Watt. Oh, look at what Bruce Smith did with the Buffalo Bills. Look at what. Leonard Marshall had done with the Giants. Yes, these were excellent defenses with crazy good pass rushers. Or they were just very talented in their own right. Do not compare J.J. Watt to Leonard Williams. There is no comparison. J.J. Watt blows him out of the water. J.J. Watt is one of the most talented 3-4 defensive ends I've ever seen in my lifetime. Start comparing Mike Daniels and Akeem Hicks to Leonard Williams, and I guarantee the numbers become a lot more condensed, and they are a lot closer, because he is good at his job. Not $16 million good, but he is good at his job. Either way, I want to encourage everybody to like, share, and subscribe again. Don't forget to ring that bell, and it's been OGR Sports, and I will catch you on the next vid.